Welcome to another episode of the Chin Check series. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the chin of Adrian the Problem Broner. One of my favorite fighters that has really disappointed me recently in his last, what, six fights? Maybe, I, I don't know. Yeah, the last two years, man, Adrian Broner has really disappointed me, man, because uh, early on in his career, he was a really great fighter. He he was really a problem for a lot of boxers, man. Great. Yeah, he had decent, uh, above average power, fast hands, durable, slick. He was putting dudes on their ass, everything, and... And then later on, man, he just, you know, he started going through his little issues in his life. You know, um, I hate just seeing a brother go through that. I still don't like seeing what he's going through. Uh, he's battling his own demons. And then, you know, he got the, the blood suckers around him that don't help the situation, you know. So, you know, much love to my man, Adrian Broner, man. Absolutely. He'll come through it. Absolutely. But... The chin of Adrian Broner, man. Uh, let's t let's jump into Adrian Broner real quick. Uh, Adrian Broner, uh, currently he's at 34 wins and four losses. He has 24 knockouts out of his 34 wins, so pretty good power. He uh, Adrian Broner has that that would indicate he has uh, above average power. You know uh, his he's 10 10 of his of uh, 34 fights went to the cards 24 of them he got them out of there that says a lot uh four losses and zero knockouts so adrian broner has never been knocked out he's been down but he's never been knocked out ever to date ever have you have i ever seen adrian broner hurt in a fight you know to be honest um, he lost to Pacquiao. Like I said, the last few fights, man, it seemed like he just jumped in the ring to get a paycheck. He he doesn't let his hands go. That's a big criticism of Adrian Broner. You know, the 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 new version of Adrian Broner. Pretty much, he's like a shell of an older self, and he doesn't let his hands go like the old AB used to. So that's the biggest gripe I have with Adrian Broner. Uh. But he's still durable as fuck. I mean, he's been hit with some shots, man, by some... He's been hit by Pacquiao. I've seen him hit by Mikey Garcia. Uh, he beat the shit out of Ashley Theophane. That was, that was, that was crazy. Um, uh, what's, what's Marcos Maidana? Was, wait, damn, that shit was in 2013? I believe Marcos Maidana... Is the first person to put Adrian Broner on the on the on the canvas, man. I think that was the first one to do that. But A B has never I've never seen him physically shaken to the point where you know he he was stumbling all over the ring or he 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 had, he was all all over the place like he was just like he just threw back a fifth of vodka. He, I'd never seen him. Stinky legged. I've never seen him all over the place, man. He's been hit by, especially Maidana. I think Maidana probably one of the hardest punchers that uh, Adrian Broner has faced. Him and Manny Pacquiao. I think those are the two heaviest punchers that he's faced. And he's he's taking them shots, man. His his chin is impeccable, man. Adrian Broner. Um, if you can point out a video where you seen Adrian Bruner, I'm talking about where it was he was about to be out of there. Please show me, because I've not seen it. I'm the Adrian Bruner's resume is scattered, man. It's like his his fights. Like he fought one time in 2016. He fought. Um, he was more active back in the days. Obviously, his, his he was much more active back in the days. But a lot of his activity started slowing down um, in 2013. That's when it really started slowing down. Three fights, 2013. 2014 was two fights. So 2014 is when 
uh, his career, he started slowing down his his uh, his consistency with fights. 2015, he fought twice, three times. 2016, once. 2017, twice. 2018, once. 2019, once. He didn't fight at all in 2020. Then he fought in 2021 one time. And that's his last fight. We don't have anything else scheduled for him. But his chin, you can't deny Adrian Broner's chin. So I'm going to give Adrian Broner's chin a A. He, is, he has a class A chin, and I'm going to stamp it with the world class on top of the A. Any fighter, man, that you that never been knocked out but hit been hit by some some hard hitters and been hit by decent punchers as well and you've never seen him he's never been down like from a, like I'm talking about not down being down doesn't mean you have you don't have a chin but what I mean down have you never seen him down and out where he gets up and he's just rocking all over the place and he falls back into the ropes nobody has done that to Adrian Broner yet um so you got to give somebody uh you got to give him a world-class chin. Just because he's been down doesn't mean he doesn't have to have a world-class chin. So he, I give him a world-class chin. He's taking shots, and it was almost he just kept coming. Kept coming. So my official report card for Adrian the Problem Broner's chin is Class A stamped with world-class. This is your boy, Rebel Life Boxing. I will catch you guys later. Stay tuned for more on the Chin Check series. And I'm out.